My purpose for this tutorial is to show you how to access iTunes U content from an iPad. So first open your iPad. If you have the app installed as I already do here, then all you have to do is click on the app. But I'm going to assume that you don't have it, which means you're going to need to click on the App Store app in order to access the application so you can install it. So if I do that, this is what the App Store uh, front page looks like. You can do a search up here in the search box for iTunes U or iTunes U app. Um, but since I know I can easily find it from the education category, if I click on education here, um, I can easily find the iTunes U app. However you find it, first you need to click on it. And once you click on it, a little window will show up. Normally here, you'll see the word install. It's a free application. But since I have this installed on all my other mobile devices, you see a little <laughs> iCloud image. Regardless, uh, click on install and you'll get the status update as the application's installing on your iPad. Once it's done installing, you'll have the word open appear. So you can open the application from there or you go to wherever the application installed on your iPad and you click on the application. So before you can access any of the content on iTunes U, you first have to install the application. So install the application. Then open it by double clicking on it and you'll get a, an image that looks like this, which is essentially a, a bookshelf. And it says you can browse or subscribe to free content in the iTunes U catalog. So as you subscribe to courses, they're going to fill up here on your bookshelf. There'll be an image that will be associated with the course. So what you'll see here on the bookshelf in the end will be the image for e each of the courses to which you're subscribed. So in order to subscribe to a course, you have to click on the catalog which is up here. So if you click on the catalog, there are a variety of different ways of, of accessing the courses that, to which you want to subscribe. I'll do it a couple of different ways. In this case, one of my classes happens to be uh, the, the most popular class on iTunes at the moment. So if the course to, to which you want to subscribe happens to be here, then well, you just click on it. Well, you, just, you click on any class to which you want to subscribe, and it'll always be free. So if I were to click on my Philosophy of Mind class from here, uh, this window uh, pops up and in order to get a class all you've got to do is click on subscribe once you subscribe you, that is once you click here you'll be prompted to click again that is to get the course are you sure you want it so you click on get course and what will happen is uh, the course will download onto the bookshelf in your library which is how you'll access your content but I want to add a couple of different courses here, a couple of different ways to show you how you can access our, our courses that I, at, our, that is our UNO courses from iTunes U. Um, from the iTunes U catalog, another way of accessing uh, courses is going to be by clicking on colleges and universities and then scrolling through that long list of all the colleges and universities that are hosting uh, iTunes U content until you get to the University of New Orleans. Once you click on the University of New Orleans, a page something like this will show up which is a listing of all the iTunes U courses that UNO is hosting or sponsoring and if the course that you want is here great then all you have to do is click on it in this in this case I let's assume that I don't see the class that I want um, another way of seeing all of the courses that UNO offers at at the time is simply click on see all and you'll get a list of all the all the classes. And at this moment, well, UNO doesn't have a lot of classes. But whatever the class is, if it's being offered through UNO, it should be here and publicly available. So you select the class that you want. In this case, uh, let's say uh, my introduction to philosophy class. And just like before, in order to access the content, uh, you can stream it by playing it without actually downloading it. You can download it one at a time, but the simplest way to access the content is simply to su subscribe to the class. So you click on subscribe, and like before, are you sure you want to get it? You click get, and this window will disappear, and it will go to the library, and you'll see whatever the image is that's associated with that class on your bookshelf. And let's add one more class. Uh, suppose that uh, instead of going through the featured classes or going through the colleges and universities, you want to go to a top class somewhere, say maybe not a UNO class, but there are a variety of categories. 
So in this case, um, I'll go from the featured view to the top charts view. And uh, since philosophy is one of the subjects in the, in the categories for the, the top classes, I'll click on philosophy. And then what will pop up will be the top 10 courses in philosophy. In this case, I know that our UNO classes are doing quite well. Uh, at the time I took this screen capture, my ethics class was number eight. So let's select the ethics class in order to enroll in it to show you another way of accessing classes. And always, all you have to do is click on subscribe and then get course, you get course. And since we've done this for three classes now, this is what the bookshelf looks like. So you'll have a visual representation of each of the courses. That'll be that unique image that's associated with the class. The number uh, that you see associated with each of these courses is uh, the number of posts for a class. And basically, I'll, I'll show you how this works here in a second, but basically, iTunes U is the free educational arm of the iTunes Store. It doesn't cost you anything to access these classes, but the advantage of having the iTunes U app, either on your, your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod, for that matter, is that or the instructors can organize your course material in such a way that you just go, go through the posts in order. So you'll see uh, an assignment, you'll have the lecture, you can listen to the lecture, you've got the slides, you can do the slides, maybe links to some web stuff. So let's see how this works. If I were to click on my Philosophy of Mind class, this is the default page that opens up. And this is essentially just the course description. And uh, Notice the tabs to the right. I've got the info for the class, the posts, which I was just talking about, notes, which would be a way for you to actually take notes as you're completing through course material, and then all of the materials that the instructor makes available to you. That is all of the lectures, all the lecture notes, the links to online stuff, and so on. So I typically find it easier to work on an iPad in this view, but if you turn it to the side, in fact, I'll have to reduce this image just a little bit. It's a little small. I don't expect you to read it. but. Uh, again, you, you get the same little notebook uh, view for the course, but here you've got the overview. Uh, that is, this is in the info section, which is the same. Uh, if you click on instructor, uh, it will give you the instructor's, uh, in fact, if the instructor has set it up so that you can email him or her, all you'll have to do is just click on send email to the instructor. And the final thing here will be the outline, which I'll access here. And the outline will be the way in which the instructor has organized all the course material. So it's a you know, typical outline. But you'll find the posts organized according to the outline. Now, I find it easier to, to, to access course material in this view uh, instead of the other view. So I'm going to use this view. So the outline is you know, the breakdown of the syllabus and all the course content and what you're going to be doing in a particular class. Uh, you won't be revisiting that too often. What you will be revisiting will be the posts. So click on posts because that's where most of the activity is. If you click on posts for this class, I've got my posts in this, for this class arranged in, in this way. I've got a few things about the course. So you can access the syllabus, the game plan, uh, study questions, the first lecture, the lecture notes, and I've got a link here to uh, information about our online BA program. You can always expand a note by clicking the little right arrow here. And if I were to do that in this case, you'll see there's actually a lot more going on in that post than my simply listing um, the assignments or the material that needs to be completed. So I encourage you to uh, take advantage of the posts. Uh, click on the right in order to make sure you've, you've read all the instructions, because what an instructor will do will be to tell you minimally. So what, what needs to be read before a particular lecture needs to be completed, maybe some other instructions about another assignment that, that needs to be completed. But I'm going to collapse this view uh, just because I want you to be able to see the assignments. And I scroll down here to um, another post that I had, which in this case was on a theory of mine called dualism. So uh, you can access, in fact, you see the, the reading assignment that needs to be completed, uh, the lecture which is completed after the student does the reading, and then the lecture, note, the lecture notes, which is a PDF that contains all the slides in a lecture. To download a lecture, what you'll have to do is just double click, or in this case, uh, press once, um, on the lecture itself. And when I do that, uh, the window sort of expands. And you've got two options here. You've got the downward arrow for downloading the lecture onto your device so that you can play it back, and then 
info. That is a little I. So the info will tell you how big it is, when it was uploaded, and all that sort of business. So in order to listen to the lecture, you're going to have to download it. So once you click download, in fact, uh, I'll expand the lecture notes. And again, in order to access the lecture notes, you've got to download it. So let me click on download for the lecture. And the uh, downward arrow is replaced by this little circle. And you'll get a status update on, on how fast the download is, is occurring. So while this is downloading, I'm going to scroll down, uh, click on download for the lecture notes. You can see that uh, this time that uh, this image was captured, most of the lecture had been downloaded. I just started downloading the lecture notes. And what happens is when they're both downloaded, uh, because at least the way the philosophy department does lectures, the lectures are narrated podcasts that are synced with slides of text. Unfortunately, through the iTunes U app, you can't watch the slides change uh, as the lecture unfolds. You can when you're using uh, QuickTime or the iTunes application on your PC, but you can't watch the slides change automatically. So in order to use the notes in conjunction with the lecture, uh, I typically tell folks to, to start the lecture. In this case, all you have to do is click on the little sound icon here for having the lecture begin to play. You click on it. Again, you have the image for the course. You've got uh, your ability to uh, play it at different rates. That is, at the rate it was recorded versus at a slower rate, twice the rate. Um, you can also adjust the playhead to where it is that you want the lecture to play and so on. In any event, this is playing right now. Actually, this is a screen capture, so you can't hear anything. Um, uh, while this is playing, all I've got to do is click this back arrow to go back to the post to then double click on the lecture notes. So as the lecture is playing in the background, I can scroll through the lecture notes and follow through the lecture. It's not quite as convenient as downloading the lecture on your PC and just simply watching it play as a movie, but it works pretty well. So let's assume that you, you complete the lecture, the lecture is done. Uh, you can also uh, mark off the things that you've done, keep track of, of the assignments and whatnot um, when you're in the post view. And I, I think students find that a very a fairly useful feature. So other things that you can do, all right, so you've seen the info, you've seen the posts, uh, you click on notes, and the iTunes U app allows you to create notes for the course, to add your comments, notes about some audio or multimedia thing that you might have had to watch. You can create notes for the books or the lectures, or that is the, the, the text that you're reading. Um, since I'm an instructor, I never use this particular feature, but you may like it. The final thing I wanted to show you is the materials. Now, the posts have all the course material organized according to specific content that's uh, wedded to the outline. The materials is just a list of all the materials that have been uploaded and made available to students through the course. So it's typically organized um, alphabetically. So the instructor also can organize it uh, in, in any particular way he or she wants. But this will be just the list of all, all the media, all the materials. So I've got uh, the link to uh, our online BA program, but I've got the PDF of the syllabus, the game plan, the study questions, lecture one, lecture one notes, lecture two, lecture two notes, and so on. So you can access the material this way uh, as well as through the post. It's ultimately whatever works for you. So once you've downloaded a few classes, in fact, you download a, a single class, you'll know how this works. Uh, iTunes, the iTunes U app on the iPad works essentially the same way as it does on either the iPhone or the iPod. It's just that the iPad allows you to see a lot more real estate. Um, and, but it turns out that the most common way in which folks access iTunes U content, at least for our UNO classes, is going to be through their iPhone. So if you have any problems, issues, or uh, complaints, <laughs> need help, there are a couple of things you can do. You can email me at philosophy at uno.edu or itunes at uno.edu. Um, both of these will be sure to get to me. Uh, and if you want to learn how to access uh, iTunes U content from your iPhone or your iPad or from your computer, I have separate tutorials for those.